Let's learn how to create non-destructive type effects with the Type Touch tool in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. So in a blank canvas, let's start by going to the Type tool, click, and let's type out some text very quickly. And I'm just going to make this bigger using the transform options. And let's come to my character panel and change the font. So I'm gonna go with Bemu. From here, with the text selected, come to my type tool, right click to bring up the options and come to touch type tool. From here, I can isolate individual letters. So if I click the B, I can now isolate the B and I can rotate it, I can scale it. And if I hover over the letter and click and drag, I can move the individual letter on the canvas. So the nice thing is now I can use this to create cool type effects in a non-destructive way. So I can scale, resize, rotate, and move accordingly. Now what I can also do is because this is live text, I can treat it in the same way. So with the E selected here, if I come to say my character panel, I can come to fonts and I could change the font if I like. I can also change the size of the font. I can change kerning, indents, and so on and so forth. I can also apply colors and gradients using the swatches panel or using the fill color down here as such. And again, I can pull out my appearance panel and I can apply stroke color fill effects here accordingly. And and the nice thing is then, as I said, because this is still live text, I can change the lettering, the styling, the kerning, and so on and so forth without having to right click and create outlines on the entirety of the text. So very simply, that's how to use the type touch tool in, in Illustrator. Yes, it does have limited features. So if I want to start going in and adding effects and shadows and 3D options, I will need to still come in and create outlines and do that to the individual letters. But I think this is a really cool feature if you want to play around with it, you know, use the rotate, use the transform options and still be able to edit the text once you've played around with it. I really hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.